Welcome off the Barrow episode 3. It's 10 to 4 in the morning. We left at quarter to 3. Uh, we just touched down at Silver End. Um, Harry's on his way in now. He's going to be about 5 minutes. He only lives around the corner. Um, but yeah, episode 3 of Off the Barra, uh, the light day session series. Uh, we're going to go, I think we're going to go back pit today, um, just from what we've seen, well, what we see walking around on, on Wednesday after work. Um, my approach is going to be two rods on zigs, um, and I'm going to be spawning a slop over the top of them. For this time of year, I think it's going to be a deadly method, and to be honest, it's a method I need to get my head around. And, and like I say, it can be deadly, it takes a lot of fish. Uh, so yeah, we're just waiting for Harry to get here. Um, we'll roll in, rock up to the uh, the back car park, load the barrows up, and we'll um, we'll head round in the dark to the lake. Hopefully get the couple of swims that we want. But um, yeah, I won't do too much of an intro. I'll wait for um, Harry to get here and we'll have a chat when we get the kettle on. But yeah, episode three, we're rocking and rolling. Just gotta wait for Mr. Reese to show his face. Well, we've had a bit of drama this morning. Turns out both front and back pit is absolutely rammed. There's no swims on any of the lakes. So we're gonna head back down my way now and see if we can pick a swim on, on one of the waters down at my water. But um, yeah, it's not looking good, folks. Uh, we might have to abort filming for this one and just, um, just have a day session and see what we can do. But. This is the trouble of arriving on a Saturday morning to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, there's there's literally there's not one swim on either, any lake. Uh, front pit is absolutely rammed and back pit is absolutely rammed to the point they're doubling up in swims. So we're gonna have to a bolt. But um, yeah, me and Ari are trying to sort something. We'll uh, like I say, we'll head back down to my way and there's plenty of lakes around there, we just have to see if we can slot onto one and uh, try and get this off the barrel popping. But yeah, I'll, um, I'll have to catch up with you in a bit. I've had to do the filming on a GoPro as well because I've just thrown all the gear in the back so we can get off quickly and the camera's in, in the underbarrel bag. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do.
what a nightmare, mate. What an absolute nightmare. I can't believe it, guys. I've just got off the phone with Mitch. Mitch Paul's fault. Silver End's fault. Like, we're on a proper bad start here, mate. We are. We are in the shoot of the scales. Yeah, mate. Well, we're heading back up down my way now, so hopefully one of the lakes down there is empty. I'm sure we'll find something. It's, uh, it's all touch and go at the minute though, son, isn't it? We, uh, we are on road, we are on route, we're eating up the mild as we speak. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Well, like I say, there's not much we can do. I mean, worst comes to worst, we just have to avoid filming, but I don't really want to do it, mate. You know what I mean? We've got up early, we've got to put the time in, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but still, I reckon we will get out there, get a few fish on film. I reckon, mate, I'm still... The day's still early, you know, the, 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 the morning's still young, we can still get out of there, mate, it's only 7 o'clock, so yeah. hopefully we can catch, still, still catch a few bites. Yeah, mate, yeah, well, like I say, we'll uh, motor on down, see if we can get on somewhere, and then uh, hopefully we'll be having a nice little chat with the old camera. That's it, Sunshine, that's it. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to crack this Red Bull and I'll, um, I'll follow you there, mate. Alright, Sunshine, I'll see you soon. Alright, okay, Gator. Miss Paul's full, Bayswater's full, definitely weren't going to turn up at Cuttons. Um, Silver M was rammed, so <laughs> I've gone to a lake that's about five minutes from my front door. We're, um, we're probably going to get on the back pit down at the Warren, a little square lake. Um, I'm still going to go out with the zigs. So we're just waiting for them to open the gate, so we've made it. So we will be fishing, there will be an off the bar free. So as soon as I can get all the proper cameras set up, we get round to the swim, I'll, um, I'll catch up with you then. I ain't going to waste no time until we, uh, we say... Hi viewers, hello, hi mum, dad, everyone, hey! <laughs> no, there, okay, Oh, my work, well, so, even still now waiting for that gate to open. Yeah. Well, at least we're guaranteed we're going to get yeah, on, we'll get down there, get set up, get the proper cameras out, and then... Um, we'll see what's rolling. Yeah, mate, we're winning one out of here. Going we're on. winning mate, we're winning. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well we'll uh like I say, finish filming with a GoPro because I can't stand filming with GoPros. And um, we'll get round in the swim, I ain't gonna film none of the barrel walk and nothing like that, you know it's off the barrel. Um, get the proper cameras out, get up in the swim and we'll uh, we'll catch up with you in a bit.
Well, good morning. Welcome to episode three of Off the Barra. Joined by Harry Rees. Cheers, nice son. And again. And again, as always. Um, bit of a mess up this morning. Four o'clock, drove all the way up Silver End. Um, front pit and back pit was full. Rung around, Miss was full, Basie was full. Yeah, pretty much everywhere we wanted to go to, mate. Had a, had a packed bank. Had a packed bank. So it happens when you turn up on a weekend, so, isn't it? Yeah, you know, Saturday you, day session. You end up up against it, didn't you? Yeah, right, mate. So we yeah. found ourselves down here at the Warren, and we got a couple of zigs out, got a bit of mix out, we tried to draw them in, I reckon. Make a few fish. Yeah, on the zigs, mate. So we're both giving the zigs a go. Um, but so, yeah, we just make the most of it. We wanted to do a bit of filming, so we're out, we're fishing. Like I say, a little insight into the zigs. Um, we'll run through the rigs later on, but at the minute, we've been up since four. I think it's about time we've got some rods out and, and nailed a couple of fish, don't you, mate? Yeah, mate, you're not supposed to tell them we ain't got the rods out yet, mate. You know? <laughs> it's, been, it's been a while, hasn't it, guys? Yeah, it's been a while. So, like yeah, I say, it's... four o'clock this morning, all the way up to Silver End, but what can you do? You make plans Saturday morning, banks are full, so. We're but yeah. In, uh, that's all that matters, really, isn't it? We're here, mate, yep, yeah, so time to get the rods out. Um, like I say, run through the rigs later on when we have a cut of fish. But um, but yeah, about time, mate, we uh, we got fishing, do yeah, you think? I think we should, mate, definitely. All right, let's do it, son. Do it.
just gone to the shop some supplies. Uh, so far we've had a roach and a tench, uh, about three pound a tench. Um, I did just have a take just now, um, the reel just slammed up against the delk, I thought I was going to lose the rod. But uh, when I hit it there was nothing there, I dropped the lead. Um, but as I say we've just redone the rod, another three spawnfuls. We're working it so every every about half hour we'll be sticking a couple of spawns out um, just to keep that trickle coming down in the layers. Uh, we're fishing in about, well I'm in seven foot, he's in six. Uh, so far he's got two zigs out at five foot. I've got one at four and one at about four and a half, five. Um, it was the one on the four that went with the tension. It was the one on the four um, that I had to take about 20 minutes ago. Um, I'm on black aligner with yellow and a black on black. And I think Harry's got both on black, all black. So as I say, yeah, we'll keep working it. Sun's up, it's looking good. I think the pressure's quite high, so they should be up in the layers moving about. There's a couple of kids over the other bank there, they've had a couple, so they are about. It's just um, finding this depth and the right colour, really. Um, you know me, I like, like my bottom fishing, my pop ups, uh, better bait, draw them in. So this zig fishing is new to me, but. It's a method that you've got to crack, you've got to get your head around it, because when you do, it could be devastating. So we'll keep plugging away, wait for Harry to get back. Hopefully, time he gets back, I've got one in the sack for him. Um, but as I say, yeah, it's looking promising. All else fouls, the mix I'm putting out, will eventually settle on the bottom, so we will end up with a better bait out there. So, towards the end of the session, maybe it might be worth a couple of bottom rigs out on the spot, if nothing else has happened on the zigs. But until then, we'll, uh, we'll wait for him to get back and we'll have a little chat. I'm done mate, flying. 
well, after hours of effort, wading through bream, tench, roach, we got our first carp on a zig, four foot, black and yellow did the business, it's only a baby but it's well deserved after spawning four or five spawns every half hour, 45 minutes, finally hooked into the carp so we found them, it's just a case now of hammering through, seeing if we can pick up a, a few bigger carp than we've got here, but they're absolutely stunners, I mean look at that one for the future and it's my first zig caught carp as well so I'm happy about that so as I say plugging away just persistence keep spawning I mean it's been easy to give up after two three bream but we carried on going and we got our reward so yeah get this one back and uh, go for the next one angry little fish Right, coming up 20 to 3 now. So we managed the first carp of the session. Finally got one on a zig, son. We did, mate, indeed. Finally got one. Um, yeah, waded through bream upon bream, tench, tench on zigs. Um, you had a roach, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, zig, all, all sorts, mate, all sorts <laughs> taking the zigs. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's, it's, it's not easy. Lads in the corner have had quite a few, but the wind's been pumping in that corner all day long. So I think we've lucked out a little yeah, bit mate. There, mate, we? But yeah. I never lose a cake stone, they? they're all about, they do get a bit and hopefully I'll make one that ain't a roach. Yeah mate, yeah. Well, as I say, you've gone one on the bottom now, haven't you mate? Yeah, one on the bottom, one on the zig still. Hopefully, so we can nick one off the bottom. Mm. But, yeah. I say, job's done mate, we come here to catch a carp on a zig. And we've done it all, mate. Albeit a, a little stocky, it was a carp on a zig, isn't it mate, at the end of the That's day? It, mate, now we can sleep on that. Shattered. Yeah, four o'clock start, mate. I bet they can tell you what they're doing. Well, I had an earlier one. Yeah, you went to sleep though. I didn't. No, mate, no. You crashed out at Silver End. I was sitting there watching the, the video. One hour. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Yeah, no, Harry's going to get some shut eye. I'm going to uh, carry on spotting away. See if we can switch these carp on. Um, I've changed the zig now, I've gone onto brown and brown, just from a bit of local advice, one of your boys come down mate, yeah, he, mate, he yeah. knows the lake, doesn't he old George? Yeah, he's a uh, fishing place quite a while, I think he's done four seasons on it now, he's done well out the front pit, like the front like the main lake, mm. he's come over here quite a few out of here as well, but yeah. Well he says brown on brown, we go brown on brown, yeah, mate, mate. Like we said in the last one, our local knowledge just goes a long way, doesn't he? Yeah, so, mate. Alright, well I'll um, let you get some shot on, we'll do some spawning, son, and uh, <laughs> Dig a fish. He's gone. He's gone, look. <coughs> well, I've given up on the zigs. Um, just kept getting green after green, no matter what colour, what depth. So I've stuck a, a 15mm with a, a white 12mm pop up uh, nutcracker, little snowman out on the spot. Put the rest of the spot mix out. But yeah, just. Just bream moving through. Um, whether the mix had too much bread in it was, was attracted to bream and not the carp. But uh, that's the lessons you learn. Like I say, we had one on the zig. Um, as you can see, liners galore at the minute. So I don't think it will be long before something rattles off. Whether it's a carp, who knows? Lost one on the left rod just a minute ago. Um, time I got to the rod, it had done me in a snag. But. Uh, yeah, not all's lost, like I say, we had, we had the zigs out for most of the day. We set out to do what we set out to do and we done it. But, um, yeah, as I say, it's not been the ideal trip. Like I say, I'd like to have been down Silver End on the back pit. Maybe we could have had a couple of 20s on the zigs. But, them's the brakes, I'm afraid. So, uh, while there is a kit, that I might sneak a few boilies out onto the spot. Hopefully I'll be seeing you in a bit of a fish.
dig out in the net. Fifteen mil nutcracker doing a business again. Fishing here on steroids, I tell you. Just don't give up the go. Well, there we go. It's a bit better of a fish. That dropped down to a 15 mil boilie on the box to get him. But yeah, they're angry fishing here. So, so we get this one back. Hopefully we can nick another one before we're off. We'll be leaving about half four, so maybe time for another one. Yeah, we we'll get this one back. So, two fish on the bank. Hopefully time for one more. Should we play a little game with him while he's sleeping? Wake up. Go on, <laughs> well, that's it for off the barrow three. I finally managed to wake him up. He slept for a fish, so I like to pull you up, mate. You know what I mean? Had to be done, mate. It's a leg of sleep, isn't it? Leg of sleep. It's not the best start of the day. Yeah, we had a bad one this morning. Got to be getting it. What do you think? <laughs> well, no fish, no well, sleep. Area, Shouldn't have got out of bed, bro. Egg, egg area, <laughs> but yeah, as I say, we, we caught what we uh, we set out to do. Carp and zig, albeit a stocky. Um, managed one towards the end, a little bit bigger. But but yeah, the uh, the next video I think is a vlog special off the top of my head. So look out for that one. It's going to be good. But it's not been a conventional off the barrow, but. We've had a laugh, haven't we, mate? We have, mate. If you ain't been sleeping anyway. It's a good job this ain't scripted, mate, isn't it? I never get known. <laughs> but yeah, mate, it's uh, on to the next one then.